Well, ain't this strange? Okay, let us begin. God, this is loud. The date is the 16th of May, 2011. A game called Terraria is released to the masses. Millions of people played it. Within the next 13 years, the game would be updated, adding many different bosses, objects, and quests for the player to go on. But then, April 1st, 2024 came around. The game has reverted back to a primitive state, as if everything that had happened to the game over the years was reverted back to its roots. In this video, I try to play Terraria 1.0. The first release of Terraria was re-released this April Fools and I wanted to play around with it for a bit. So my first task was to build a house. I have a limited number of building blocks, so this house should suffice. The guide has already moved in. Now it's on to phase 2 of my plan, mining, so I can get cool minerals. Minerals I can tinker and mold into the shape of armor and weapons to keep myself safe from the growling zombies and flying demon eyes of the night. In time, I had collected enough materials to make myself a new weapon. With this weapon, I can now dig deeper with less fear, excavating everything. The kinks of the old terraria were showing and it was crippling, but not unfun. In a way, the old terraria is a much different experience from the finished product, obviously because the game was now missing 5,092 different items, 614 fewer NPCs and only four bosses. The game to today's standards is unpolished and lacking in scenery and weather cycles, but that's the beauty of playing this archaic version of the game. The jank is what makes the game unique and special. So it kept us coming back to it over and over again, just like how I have to hover over every single block to break it because there is no smart cursor in this version. I click over and over again on every single block hoping to strike more precious materials. Finally, I had found myself an abundance of metals. I begin to devise my set of armor. Along the way I stumble across a suspicious looking eye. This will be my first battle and I must prepare myself. I also find a magic mirror, of which I couldn't use because the game starts you off at zero mana. I throw my fallen stars away, rendering the magic mirror ultimately useless. Instead of using the magic mirror, I'll just find ways to commit unalive to bring myself back to spawn. Now with an entire set of armor and a few weapons up my sleeve, I summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Our fight was long and arduous, both of us giving it our all. Except I lied, the boss was really easy. He died within a couple minutes, and I came out on top victorious, claiming my demon knight all. The next night was a blood moon. The next boss I wanted to fight was the Eater of Worlds, but to face him I would have to beat this blood moon. It was long and unwavering. Unlike the Eye of Cthulhu, it was a real challenge. Barricading up my base and sacrificing myself outside to protect the people who reside in my house. Taking advantage of the increased spawn rate. I sought to find the corruption and begin my last stand against an unending wave of creatures. I did this until morning, and claimed a hefty number of rotten chunks. I grabbed some vile mushrooms to make vile powder and go into the deep crevices of the corruption to create some worm food, bait which is used to lure the eater of worlds. I devised the worm bait and left it into the air, instantly spawning him. I, however, had made a major mistake. After the Eye of Cthulhu, I had too much confidence in beating the eater of worlds. I'd neglected in building an actual arena, and didn't give myself enough space to fight it. In the end, it all became too much and I died, succumbing to the worm in a tragic twist of irony, becoming worm bait myself. In the end, Terraria's oldest version is lacking in many things, but it still had the core fundamentals that made it Terraria. An interesting experience that I'm glad the developers gave us for this April Fools, but less of a joke and more of a gift to the people who had been longtime fans of Terraria. That brings us to the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Our like quota for this video is 150 likes, no more, no less. Thank you for watching.